Work never ends in Vault 81. Everything's under control. Is that your pit boy? Better be. Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Why don't you just tell me about yourself? Me? I'm the vault biologist and hydroponic gardener. Everything you see here, I grew, including this new fruit I just developed. But I need someone to test it. Sure I can't talk you into trying it? What the hell? I'll try it. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm, now where'd I put that Geiger counter? Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. How much are you paying? I'll give you 25 caps non-negotiable. I know how you outsiders enjoy your bartering, but I've never been any good at it. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the Overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Hey, sweetie. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes, and he's the best cat in the whole world. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Someday, I'm gonna check out the Commonwealth. If my gran lets me. Hi, Austin. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Keep the vaults safe. Yes? I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some...
ashes. Go home. Aaron misses you. Looking for a meal, see Maria. She runs the sunshine down. Watch yourself. Keep the vault safe. Nice pit boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. Hey, pal. She'll fix it. Right. Ashes! You found him! Thanks, ma'am. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Bad kitty. I was so worried Austin about got himself you. bit by a and mole rat. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. It's ridiculous. I know I don't like it either. But I'm just Aaron happy you're back. Screws. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsyth, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret fault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Be quick and find that cure. Maria's head just ain't in it today. She's got her mind on Austin stuck down in the medical center. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many Bobbas in the common. Don't want any trouble in 81. 
Hey, you say the word. Wait there. Dr. Forsyth has been very honest about Austin's prognosis. I'm so scared I'll lose him. Didn't think we'd be seeing you again. You're getting to be a regular around here. I tell you. As long as Murray is around, ain't no one in this vault gonna go hungry. If you're looking to do some trading, look for the depot. Alexis is just about anything you can need. Did you hear? Bobby DeLuca found some sort of secret passage to another vault. What's taking so long? Direct any maintenance request to Mr. Hi, Bobby. Come on. Let's go. This is a lawful 
use of deadly force. Please direct. <laughs> That's it.
sure this whole thing is overblown and awesome. Then we'll be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You nag me and I can't go anywhere. A oh, real nice hold. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind.
You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But Overseer... No buts. This is for the good of the Vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, Overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. I'm through.
another stranger. Are you Voight Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Voight Tech Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Volt citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got the chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault Tech Security? Do I look like vault Tech Security? Jeez. Over the long years, who is to say what is fashionable now? True, your attire is a bit dirty, but not all people properly value the importance of hygiene and cleanliness. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. analysis of you indicate you have suffered very little from radiation. Curious. It is good not to be stuck in the quarantine. I would request we travel extensively and collect data. You should see Dr. Forsythe. I heard he has a job for you. Hey, point the way. Come on. Can do. We must consult the professors at the university. They could provide many answers. If you need a doctor, Forsythe and Rachel are down in the back. We'll catch you up. to learn and see. A 
I see that vault suit of yours is still holding up. Everything's under control. The cure. You found it. Here. Take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. It shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? She... Thanks, ma'am. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you this syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I, I hope you enjoy your I accommodations. I wanted to say starving. thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangerous vault tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. If vault tech had lived to go through with their plan, this place would be wiped out. I don't doubt that one bit. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. Hello, Overseer? Austin's making a quick recovery thanks to you. It's good to see him back to normal. something, madame. I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get underway. Have fun, you two. Don't pick any fights I wouldn't. Well, I hope to not have to pick any at all. People really lasted 200 years inside these tin cans? I would have gone fatty. Piper. Heading my way? You know what? <sighs> Never mind. You know where to find me. Hey. You need some. May I be of assistance? Your thoughts? The influx of data is hard to process. Apologies if sometimes I make little sense. I will work on this. Is everything all right between us? I find these traveling arrangements quite acceptable. Nothing else I needed. As you wish. Quite a setup they had down here. Austin sure recovered fast, thanks to you. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up.
It's crazy to think we never knew that portion of the vault existed all this time. We keep the vault safe. If you're looking to do some trading, look hey, for the depot. Hey, I heard about Alexis what you did for Austin. Just about anything you could need. Yeah, thanks. Anything I can do? You just say the word. 